Hello and Namaste from Rashtrapati Bhavan. President Pradam Mukherjee, ever since assumption of office, has been a great champion of grassroots innovators and the innovation movement within our country. There is perhaps no head of state anywhere in the world who has given as much importance to the innovation movement as President Mukherjee has done. He has opened the Rashtrapati Bhavan to grassroots innovators for annual in-residence programs and he has traveled the length and breadth of our country visiting educational institutions and asking them to set up innovation clubs as well as to support and mentor grassroots innovators in the area around their institutions. One of the big events which the Rashtrapati Bhavan organizes every year is an annual festival of innovations which is currently underway in Rashtrapati Bhavan. This festival includes exhibitions, award ceremonies, roundtable discussions with international and national participation, as well as annual meeting of national innovation clubs from across the country. In this series of video clips, we bring you through discussions with senior Rashtrapati Bhavan officials and visuals of the activities of the festival, the highlights. We hope you will enjoy viewing these. I think we have had a wonderful start to the Festival of Innovations, which is going to go on for an entire week. And great weather too. The exhibition, ma'am, I think uh, the president himself was so impressed with the exhibition. We had a large number of public who were present there to see each of the innovations. What impressed you the most? Well, I understand more than 10,000 people visited our uh, exhibition. The total display is very impressive. The grassroots participation from all over the country including the northeastern states and uh, I think is very encouraging that just shows that innovation is everywhere Absolutely. and we just have to uh, look around and identify it I know, you, that you is feel. all that we need to do and uh, our round tables are also going off very well the yes, ones we have a large number of international as well as national participants mm -hmm. uh, and senior government officials uh, have been participating in the discussions, briefing the people on what the policies of the government are and what the goals of the government are in terms of promoting innovation. Even we have the innovation scholars in residence and the artists who what? have just like joined us for this two-week program. Did any so particular innovation impress you out of the exhibition? What did you like the most or what struck you as extremely important? This one which was I think like this thing out, this accrued. So that was one which I really liked. It was quite fast, actually. He enjoys <laughs> eating. So <laughs> something which, which made eating easier impressed him. All were very good. But uh, what I thought was very exciting was those um, uh, At different levels, wash basins and pipes, uh, yes, water pipes. That what the that girl had done for uh, drinking water exactly. system in the schools where the little children who get edged out would have a lower have wash a basin, lower wash basin and taller drink, children would have a higher one. Can have a, she's uh, just eight years old. No, well. I saw her. She's a tiny little girl, know, uh, she, very peppy she, and full of ideas and uh, very bright eyes. Another thing which really impressed me was that those um, that contraption which you can use to climb trees. Poles. Poles uh, or trees. On the poles or trees which I think is very exciting. If one could, I would like to kind of well. climb up. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to climb a tree if, using if that. 
from where I come from, Kerala, you can't find people to climb coconut trees anymore. <laughs> so I think this will come in very handy. Anybody can start climbing. <laughs> it was also nice that one of our uh, artists who was in residence has created a beautiful picture of Rashtrapati Bhavan using nails. Well, yes, that selfie corner uh, it was a great idea. And uh, I understand uh, the artist is going to leave this uh, work of art with us. Oh, wonderful. So it'll be an asset so to Rashtrapati Bhavan. Looking forward to a good addition to our museum. Our collection. <laughs> Ma'am, like we also have uh, I mean, like one uh, small counter for Ayush. Um, all the innovations which, ma'am, you have done actually <laughs> in the Ayush Wellness Clinic. Rashtrapati has a stall of its own. <laughs> yeah, yes. we have like two stalls out of which like one is for Ayush and this shows all the innovations which actually ma'am's idea, ma'am's innovative idea, this is a result of that. <laughs> so See, what we are Shirodhara working is, there. is taking Ayurveda to that doorstep because otherwise for this Shirodhara and all the equipment is so large and uh, uh, immovable. People that have to people come to a have center. To come to a center. So these uh, small devices that we have designed can take um, these uh, therapies to the doorstep. That's right. In fact, uh, today at the round table, uh, Mr. Amitabh Kant was talking about the mobile ECG, mm -hmm. which has made life so much more easy. The mobile ECG can be easily taken to anybody's house, and uh, ECG can be done quickly if somebody uh, thinks that he's going to have a heart attack or he's having a heart attack at that point of time. You see, this will really create employment opportunities and income generating opportunities for uh, the therapists who otherwise uh, can't really uh, provide this uh, service. They're, 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 not gonna, they're so no, they no, no longer really confined to an institution. Their, uh, so they now can they can really move. Their, yes. uh, they can go to villages, cities, they can yes. go to from towns, house they can to go house. from house to house, house, house to house. Um, just a bag. Just a bag. One innovation which was very interesting was the chair. We all are sitting in chairs most of the time and sometimes the posture uh, becomes a problem and then you develop back pain or you develop hip pain. So here there is a chair which monitors your posture and on a phone app it tells you when your posture is wrong and asks you to correct yourself. Oh, oh I must so go and spend some I time know. understanding <laughs> That's very interesting also, uh, actually. No, so I it, think it, most of a, us in the offices need that kind of uh, It's a combination chair. of modern technology with a most functional uh, requirement, which is to be able to sit in good and comfortable chairs. On the whole, I think we have had a very good start to this uh, uh, fe um, festival of innovation, which is going to last a week. And if uh, this kind of enthusiasm continues, then I'm sure we have a winner on our hands. And practical. tomorrow, which is the second day of the festival, we are going to have uh, the Gandhian Technological Innovation Awards being given away. Uh, which is a combined initiative of the National Innovation Foundation as well as the Department of Biotechnology. Mm -hmm. Then the roundtable sessions will continue and Nobel laureate Kailas Satyarthi will be addressing a panel on social innovations for large-scale change. And of course the President is coming today to listen to, the, to a report fr about the discussions which have been held and to express, to give his comments and his views on the subject of innovation. Another day to look forward to, I'm sure. Uh, we are all going to enjoy ourselves.